Hello, hello, what's up everybody? It is great to be back as usual. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. We finished up our first playthrough of Dishonored Death of the Outsider yesterday, and today we're going to be doing a Ghost No Kill playthrough. Um, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, we've done a mostly Ghost uh, No Kill playthrough of the previous ones, though not on stream. And I enjoy doing these types of playthroughs. They're very tactical, very planned out, and they are much harder than the regular playthroughs because you can't be seen and you have to use limited means to kill people. Or not kill people. Limited means to incapacitate people. And so when they're in large groups, it can be significantly harder. So if you are here to watch, I hope you are in for the ride. I hope you're in to watch the grind, watch us sneak around people because we are about to get super stealthy up in the street. All right, <laughs> with that, let's go ahead and jump right into Dishonored Death of the Outsider and start up the new save so we can begin scumming it. Save scumming for the win. <laughs> and cheers no warm beverage today just a nice glass of water you gotta stay healthy all right yeah so we're gonna go ahead and start up a new game oh interesting we could we could also do the original game plus i didn't really know that yeah we'll load up a new game our only left remaining save slot i think we're gonna run this on hard yes i think that is what we're gonna do do it. You're gonna look out for your old mentor, Dowd. You've seen who is you not seen in fifteen years. Rumors speak of a clandestine boxing club that uses black magic and bone charms at the Albarca Baths. He be there. And the answer is yes, My he name probably is, is Billy there. Lurk, though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden. Captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I'm gonna try to I was watch a the immersion. Fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd. The Knife of Dunwall, a name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed at myself. For even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. Every night for weeks, the same terrifying dream. A street fight, my arm dead and lying in the gutter, my eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? The creepy rat heart. That's all I have left of you. That her friend Deirdre gave her. Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. That boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. Here's the deal. I think we're gonna have to use some of our powers that we didn't use very often. 
during the last Burglary, run. Like maybe the, spy, fa the facial imitation. I think that's going to be much more, more frequently used. It can keep me afloat for now. All right, we already read most of this, these dialogue things in our last playthrough. They're very interesting. They talk about how she's been dreaming of her alternate reality. She's been dreaming of the reality where she lost her arm and her eye. This is the knife of Dunwall. Talks about Dal. This is abandoned letters to the Empress. So we're on our way to find Dal, our old mentor. Um, he, he, he has been missing for quite a while. Ever since we basically this betrayed him hasn't been after used the first game. Years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy, but it's safe so far. So this is our last lead to try and find where he is. What can you tell me today? So they're talking about us. We are the friend that listens. The ugly big friend. Because we have this weird rat heart thing that our friend Deirdre stole for us. Alright. Let's do it. I need to look over my notes first. Can't go in without a plan. What? Look over. Oh, crap. <laughs> we forgot to look at the board. It's kind of lame. Because we've already done this, we've just... Kind of ran past it. Because we don't really need to look at our... Our board here. I've been searching okay, for months. There we go. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. All right. So now, let's go to the Albarca Baths and save our mentor and buddy, Old Dowd. They have him chained up here, and they're using him as a super powerful boxing champion. Or more like MMA style fighting, where they release him and, and take bets on people to see if they will fight. Dowd, who's never lost a fight before. Alright, the old Albarca Baths shouldn't be far. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and un- well, actually... I was gonna say we we're gonna unequip. The lethal projectiles, but we can actually use them to kill dogs, so we're gonna leave them on. his body right over here. <laughs> and then we are going to loot this area. And creep over here. There's going to be two guards around this corner. They're going to need to take out. We're going to have to wait for, and listen for them to... Uh, turn their backs on each other, and then we should get a good clear shot on both of them. Do that or we can walk down these stairs. And do a similar thing. That place reeks of black magic. You see the people who went in there? Go after them and they'll curse your cod with pus blisters. Hey Triangle, where's your face? Huh. That's strange. Right here. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Steen. My face is don't right here. Not that I don't enjoy the game. The 
It was all for the immersion. Let's see. Reinforcements. <laughs> okay. We're gonna drop down, take this one guy down right here. I think we got him before we were seen. Nope, we didn't. Okay, that means we're gonna have to load back. Ah, uh, emergen schmergen. <laughs> so one thing that's kind of weird is sometimes, well, I think always, after you After you knock someone down, like I just did, it stands you up. And so you have to either immediately crouch or be seen. And we didn't immediately crouch there, which made the guy around us, the guy in front of us, hear us. And so he turned around and saw us. You saw our orders. Captain says to find out what the Eyeless gang's doing inside the Alphark. Yeah, I know what they're doing. That place reeks of What an odd function of the game. You see the people who went in there? What's well, an odd function of the game? How it stands you up immediately? If you're lucky. I do your superstitions. Don't believe all that hocus pocus crap. A gang's a gang. You should worry more about a knife in the back than some curse. But again, we're gonna wait until this guy turns around. Yeah, it is kind of an odd function, but also it makes sense because if you knock someone out and you want to keep running, it can be really important. Got him. All right, and that should have left them, left us unseen. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and carry both their bodies over here, so that later on, if more enemies come through this area, they don't see them. We're also gonna pick up these voltaic shots, although we don't really need them. What's up, Nightbot? When we're screwed, we multiply. Who multiplies? <sighs> oh, is that what he... That's what the wall said. Oh, damn. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wait. Bosses beware. When we're screwed, we multiply. Huh. I wonder who wrote that. That's kind of strange. Grab this charm. Um, there's quite a few pivotal charms in here, but the best but one really do use magic, is the double jump check one. It out. Oh, you know what? We never figured out the password to this dial. Let's try 666 because it, there's already the first two there. No. Hmm. It's probably in here somewhere. The real question is where? Maybe it has to do with these numbers right here. So these are the wins of the fighters in the ring. Eken, what's up? How are you? And Nightbot. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so clearly the, the black magic brute is the guy we're trying to rescue, Dowd, and he is 73 and zero. He's never lost a match because he has a lot of black magic. Hmm. Let's, let's try, let's read this and see what it says. Excerpt from a journal. Think they're one who will break the brute's record, ha. They pay for it in coin and teeth, better than me. Kiss the one to lead him here, us here, and that magnificent bastard. So maybe it's the brute's record, let's try seven. Oh, that's what Max, I think that's what Max tried the other, was telling us to try the other day, 7.30.
Yeah, no. Damn. So we still haven't been seen. Maybe we should try all of their... All of their codes. 22 and 5. Let's try that. I somehow doubt it is these, but... At the same time, it's worth it if there's some good good loot in here. No. 16 and 7. And one last one. 10 and 2. Oh, shit. We scrolled past it. Damn. Yeah, I, I really don't know what it could be. Maybe we have to listen to some people longer or something? That's okay. Alright. Pay what you owe. Alright, we're gonna move on. Although I would like to break into that at some point, so maybe we'll try again on the way out. We're in neutral territory now, so we can we can be seen by these people. Um, it won't count as a negative. I believe there's dogs down here. Some of it's strange. None of it. One there and one there. We're actually gonna go ahead and kill these guys because on our way out. We need them to be dead. And uh, no kill runs don't count dog kills. Sadly. And just to validate that, we're going to check our stats real quick. And yeah, even though we killed them, it says combat total kills zero. This is, this is locked, but on our way out, we're going to need to come through here because I believe there's going to be a guy standing right here and it'll be easier to sneak past him if we come, come this way. I know. Poor pups. Poor pups. The eyeless are watching. Ooh. More electrical bursts. That's good. All right. Neutral territory again so we can just relax. We're going to sneak through this area. Um, even though we don't have to. Just in case it randomly triggers a hostile territory area. You always get sad about the dogs dying. Yeah. It's not the most fun thing. So, unlike last time, we're actually going to go through this door because it allows us to sneak past it's these people a lot, a lot that easier. It's private, get it? But I can let you in for, say, a hundred coin. I think there's an item down here that we can pick up to actually get a hundred coin. That gave us 50, and I believe that should be enough to pay her. Yeah. Perfect. You're playing Grim Dawn, hey, so I do not have 100% focus on the chat. Stay out of sight. That is okay, Ethan. I hope you're enjoying Grim Dawn. We never met. Got it? Never. Really, I, I don't think I've even heard of that game. Let's take her. Let's pickpocket her as well, so we can grab some of that money. When I say when I say some of that money, I mean all of the money we just um, paid her. We just took back. So while we're here, we're gonna complete one of our side contracts. We're gonna knock him out, grab his key. And then steal the recipe for this rat brew. This delightful, delightful rat brew called the Plague Spirit, um, which, as Reza put it yesterday, is looks like a delightful lunch. <laughs> Yum. I'm gonna smash all of their stock of it and complete the first contract. I'm going to throw in an autosave as well. One thing you're going to see us doing in this playthrough is autosaving quite frequently because the objective of it is not to be seen and also not to kill people. 
and it's very easy to accidentally be seen or accidentally Outsider's kill people. Eyes. Easier to accidentally be Doubt. seen, though. They're making him fight. I have to get him out of there. I once knew a kid who said his bone charm would make bullets bounce off of his skin. And so, if we auto save more frequently, it'll be a lot easier to load. A day later. Load back directly to the point in which we got seen. And prevent us from being seen. So, real quick, we're gonna add the correct bone charm in. We just picked up, we picked up several bone charms, three in fact. And one of them, the agility one, actually allows us to double jump, which is very useful. Oh, wow. She was in a much different place than she normally is. You're doing homework and I'm playing. So we, we are totally in the same boat. Okay, so I think we were just seen. <clears throat> yeah. That means we load back like five seconds. And we're good to go. You can tell me about um, Grim Dawn. What kind of game is that? All right, we should have already completed the first contract. Yes, we're good. Outsiders' eyes, Doubt. They're making him fight. The so Doubt is down here there. in like a power repression device. I once knew a kid who said his bone charm would make bullets bounce off his skin. I played a bit too much auction items yesterday, so I, stomach I must, for me, do work today. <laughs> that makes sense. I definitely understand that problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and equip, once again, our bone charms. Maybe we should leave them. Go back to the old place. <sighs> I think we got her. We're gonna double check real quick. Yes, we did get her. So even though she was facing us, we were able to knock her out before she noticed we were there. In a popular fantasy world where humanity is on the brink of extinction, iron is valued above gold and trust is hard earned. The RPG features complex character development, hundreds of unique items, crafted in quests with choices and consequences. Whoa! That seems super cool. Actually sounds really cool. So as we approach this next area, we're gonna go ahead and take out one of the guards. There's two people in this room. We have to kill, we have to not kill, but take both of them out. It's an ARPG as well, that's kind of interesting. This should knock both of them out. As soon as the other guy walks closer, we're gonna check our stats again, just in case. Yeah, we weren't seen. There we go. And so they should both be unconscious, not dead, which is pivotal here. You can also play co-op. Dang, that sounds like a really cool game. Again, we're gonna just check our stats just to make sure. Again, yeah, no spotted and no deaths. And then before we go in there and hide their bodies, I'm gonna shut this door behind us just in case someone wanders up here. We're gonna kill all the dogs. The dog, Killing these dogs and burning their bodies is actually our next quest. Our next contract. As it says here, an eyeless hag stole my poor Milky, this, this uh, wolfhound, this white hound, and they're forcing it to fight in the ring. It's like a dog fight. And so this person hired us to kill it and then burn its body to save uh, Karnaka from the plague as well. 
That's what we're doing. And again, we can afford to waste our arrows here because there's no other use for our for our shock bolts. Our shock bolts. We're gonna go ahead and throw both of these bodies over in the next room. <laughs> 